So this is the boat and I think we'll start the tour on my right, uh, which is the galley. So this is obviously where I do with my cooking and my washing and everything. Uh, I've got a great stove here, it's just gas powered. Uh, I just have a lighter um, and then at the back here, you can see I've got all my cutlery and plates and things. And I've got food here, Weetabix, an absolute essential. Um, I've learned from living on, on a boat that cereal is uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then in here, uh, we've got a cool box. Um, I'm looking to upgrade it to be like a sort of fridge unit because um, it's so deep that it's just kind of unnecessary. Um, I've just got some ketchup and some other weird sauces which I don't really eat. I've got the sink uh, with this annoying shower head. <laughs> Um, I guess it's like a cockpit shower if you wanted to. Obviously, need cold water. Um, yeah, very annoying to wash up, but you know, it works. And then this sort of unit um, with the kitchen towel, I mean, you know. And then we have the controls for the engine. She's got a 16 horsepower Beta Marine engine. She was re engined in 2021. Uh, that was one of the big selling points for us. Uh, a monitor and a switch panel, uh, lots of different things, um, which is really useful. And then in here we've got quarter berth, which is just sort of cockpit cushions. You've got the battery switch. Um, behind the battery switch is an AIS uh, receiver unit that was installed by us, so we can see where other boats are, although we aren't displaying to other boats. Um, the previous uh, owner was very sort of safety conscious, so he had all of these things made, sort of grab bag, and there's like a life raft label, um, which is all very useful. Um, and got the radio here, of course, uh, which is great. So that was already done. Um, and then one of the nice things about this boat is she's still got great woodwork and great lining, because um, it's more of sort of a molding. Uh, so it's really tough um, and it's got no condensation. Then on this side, we've got kind of a unit. Uh, so my favorite thing of the boat definitely is uh, the stereo. She's got two speakers. Um, so, you know, I really like music uh, and so I'll play that and that's definitely my favorite thing. Just being here, studying, listening to music is just great. Um, we've got the first aid kit here, a uh, little Lego car. Um, because I'm still a child. Of course, behind all of these, we've got storage. So we've just got some lines in here. Under here is all of our tools. So we've got uh, lots of spares for the engine, uh, every kind of um, type of shackle possible. There's just lots and lots of really, really useful stuff. Over here is definitely less exciting. Uh, we've just got pots and pans and uh, cups and bowls and things. Uh, the autopilot, which is obviously quite important. Um, especially for me when I'm going to be sailing solo. Um, and then we've got our winch handles here, which obviously just come straight out of the cockpit. Um, under here, uh, there's storage. Um, behind here, in this one, we've got kind of a safety cupboard. Uh, so we've got flares, uh, a drogue, uh, some more flares, and yeah, some other things. Um, and in here, we've just got some lines. Uh, and as well as the harness. Um, so that's the other great thing about this boat is uh, there's just storage everywhere. Um, the boat sort of that this was based off was the Contessa 26, uh, which uh, similar design, but just uh, has a bit less beam. So this, uh, you know, this has got you sort of an extra 30 centimeters on either side, but the amount of storage that that gives you is just essential. Um, especially, I mean, it's great for me when I'm sort of half living on here um, because there are lots of various things which is just useful to be able to store. Um, but let's move uh, forward. So I'm going to talk to you while I'm sat on the toilet. Uh, I'm obviously not using it. Uh, but here is all of our wet weather gear. So we've got coats, uh, life jackets, sleeping bags as well. Um, and this is an amazing space to have on a 26 foot boat. And so I guess I'll show you the, uh, the salle de bain, uh, or the heads. So here is the heads. One of the great things actually is the amount of storage we have 
uh, here. So we've got a box full of medicines, toothbrushes, uh, cleaning stuff. I guess another cool thing is on the seacocks, there's plugs uh, tied to them, uh, which are des designed for the specific seacock. So if they go, uh, those are just ready to hand. Now for the master bedroom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's a pretty wide berth, you can definitely have two people, sort of, um, but it's not very long, is the thing, um, and I've just realised it looks like I've got a dead body in there, I don't, that's just my duvet all rolled up, <laughs> um, it's not very long, so I can't fully stretch out, but it's got a nice hatch, and it's raining because it's England, obviously, uh, so I've got like a normal house sheet, house duvet, which I just pull out, um and then i sleep here and i often will shut this one uh and that helps to keep it a bit warm um but the condensation is pretty bad but yeah i sleep i sleep pretty well and under here of course we've got all of our sails so we have uh, a cruising chute and two different uh sizes of spinnaker and a storm jib very easy to just shove them up through the hatch uh, as well which is really great so yeah to kind of conclude uh, she's not the biggest but she's got everything uh, I need uh, for living here part-time all I need to do is work sleep and eat uh, and I can do all of those things because I've got this big table for working I can listen to music at the same time and I can eat I can make pesto pasta and stuff uh, that's pretty much all I eat sometimes just cereal uh, once I bought six uh like pancakes and I just ate those for like breakfast and dinner and you know and yeah she's just an awesome boat and quite sort of like a a comfortable boat hopefully next time it'll be sort of a day in the life here um and then definitely some sailing videos as well um so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed subscribe and like and comment and that stuff uh and if you really enjoyed it and you want to leave a tip uh, buy me a coffee link is in the description um and thank you all so much for the support in the last video 25k views is just at uh, the time of filming this is just awesome um so yeah uh, until next time